I've resigned to the fact that the America that I thought I lived in no longer exists. I've resigned to the fact that America is heading towards a collapse. And although it's not the type of collapse I envision, it's, it's thorough, it's seen in almost every aspect of society, culturally, economically, uh, just a thorough collapse. And the American dream is not something that's going to be achievable for most people. Uh, we're seeing a great divide between the people who have and the people who don't have. Uh, the middle class is shrinking. It's vanishing. I came across an article talking about a uh, infield food pantry in Connecticut. Now, nationwide, about one out of 10 Americans, American adults are in a household where food sometimes is, is just isn't enough. One out of 10, around 23 million Americans or so, 23 American adults. And in Connecticut, it's around one in eight, one out of eight. And the articles talk about how people before the pandemic, it was a lot of elderly people, a lot of people on limited income, fixed income. But now they have people with who are actively working people in the workforce who are forced to go to the food pantries because they can't support themselves. They can't feed themselves because everything just costs so much, everything from car insurance to home insurance. Yeah, people who, you know, they may be, may be dealing with a $1,400 car repair. And I, I know I had a $2,000 uh, car repair recently, in my old vehicle, and then my transmission went out and that was gonna cost another 6,000. It's just, I mean, stuff like that happens, but like when everything goes up across the board, the average American cannot really afford all that. Articles talk about how people are watching their bank accounts go down and down. And this is happening where our politicians are willing to give 90, $95 billion to Ukraine and Taiwan and Israel for wars, really for wars, wars that don't even make sense, especially Ukraine. They're losing over there. Why are we spending, why are we spending $60 billion for a failed effort? Is this just one big grand money laundering scheme? I'm just wondering, there's a question. Cause yes, the Ukrainians are failing. I don't want to hear any more BS about how the Russians are losing. I was reading articles at War News 24-7 about how um, the, the Russians are breaking through the defensive lines of the Ukrainians, and there's complaints about how the Ukrainians didn't have additional uh, defensive lines. And now Putin has declared that Zelensky and his crew must be arrested. They don't care if they're dead or alive at this point, because the writing's on the wall. You spend all that money. It's, it's always a willingness in D.C. to spend money on whatever the power elite wants, and it has nothing to do with the best interest of the American people. So that old civilization where, you know, a guy can walk out of high school, go to a, go down the street to a factory or plant, or to the old sawmill, whatever, and get a job that paid enough for him to support his family, his wife and three kids, that's over. People wanna know when was America great? America was never perfect, but when America had a, a situation where people could walk out of one job and they'll be go down the road, people tell me this, back in Flint, Michigan, they say, hey, you can leave one, place and go right down the road and find another job, just like that. Well, that didn't happen when I was a kid when I was in Michigan, because by then, the industrial base had already been gutted. So I have to be resigned to the fact that this is the situation that we're in. No election is going to really make any real impact. No politician is going to be our savior. We're looking at a collapse. And the best we can do is prepare ourselves and our family, do our best to try to survive this and help others. We have an opportunity to help others, take advantage of that opportunity to help other people. Freeze dried food, extra water, that's just the basis, the basics. But just willing, willing to work with one another. I wish I had good news for you guys, but I mean, I'll still follow the election just like I follow the NBA.